aim of the loop study was to see if long-term monitoring using an implantable loop recorder and initiation of oral anticoagulation if we found uh, atrial fibrillation could reduce the risk of stroke. So we included and randomized a total of 6,004 participants older than uh, 70 years with at least one of the following conditions, hypertension, diabetes, a previous stroke or heart failure. Participants were randomized in a one to three ratio to either the ILR group or the control group. In the ILR group, they had an implantable loop recorder with continuous remote monitoring. If atrial fibrillation with a duration of more than six minutes was detected and adjudicated by two senior cardiologists, the patient was, uh, was recommended to start oral anticoagulation therapy. In the study, we found that in the ILR group, we found more than 30% of the participants having atrial fibrillation and more than 90% of these initiated uh, oral anticoagulation. We found with respect to the primary endpoint, which was stroke or systemic arterial embolism, a 20% risk reduction, which was non-significant. We saw no effect on mortality. We saw modest increased uh, bleeding without any difference between the two groups. So if this should be uh, taken into a clinical perspective, maybe short-lasting episodes of atrial fibrillation do not all require oral anticoagulation. And on the other hand, initiation of oral anticoagulation does not seem to be uh, causing increased bleeding complications.